song here. So today we're going to be altering this super fun, shabby, distressed, vintage looking bench. Now I'm applying some Prima texture paste in color white sand all over the bench. The, this kind of texture paste has some really fine and nice sandy grits in there. And the good thing about this texture paste is that you can't reactivate it with water. So if you use your watercolor paint or if you use your mists, it's not going to be reactivated, which you can really use it to your advantage and build up some really nice texture and uh, use some different techniques with it. And now I'm using Prima's Crackle Paste and Color Copper. I'm just applying it all over my um, Sandy Grits texture paste I applied before. I am really, really building up the texture. I want the grits, I don't want the crackles, I want it to be really, really texturized. That's why I'm doing this. Now after the copper paste is dried, I grabbed some teal color acrylic paint and then just quickly went over the copper crackle paste just to add a little bit of the patina look to it. You don't have to apply white also over it later on, but because I want a little bit of a shabby look, which is why I chose to apply some white gesso over it. But I applied the gesso really, really sparingly, so I'm not covering the whole copper and teal color. You'll still see the color showing through after the gesso is dried. And the texture is always going to be here, which, you know, it's just yummy. I love, love the texture. While I'm waiting for the gesso to dry, I grabbed some paper and a stamp and I'm going to fussy cut out some stamp images. The stamp and the paper are both from Prima's um, Butterfly Collection. I love this collection. Just gorgeous. I love the purple. I love the shabbiness. I think it's perfect for this bench. So that's why I used it. And as you can see, I'm stamping some images here and they're all over the pages. And I just took my time and cut this image out. And by the time the images are done, the gesso is all dried up. Because of the paper collection has the purple color in there, I decided to add some purple to my bench as well. So I grabbed my ink tense block and chose the purple color and just went over it. Well, the reason I used ink, ten ink tense block instead of watercolor is that once the color is set, it's permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. But if I use watercolor, later on, if I spill some water on my bench, then the color will be reactivated and I, just, I don't like the idea of that. So that's why I grabbed my ink tense block, but you know, you can use whatever paint you like. You can use acrylic paint, whichever you want. I just love the ink tense blocks because they're so pretty. And now I'm just layering the embellishments. As you can see, I already laid everything out on the left corner of the, I mean, on the left side of the screen. And you see all these paper elements I fussy cut out from the stamp images. They're just so much fun to play with. I definitely love the look of stamping the um, detailed images onto either clear plastic sheets or vellums and then cut it out. But I don't have vellums on hand right now and um, and I don't want to use plastic sheets for this project, so that's why I still went with the paper. And excuse my hair, I'm really sorry about it. I have a lot of hair and they're super long. They tend to stick out everywhere. So I'm pretty sure you see my hair a lot in my videos, but I'm really, really sorry about it. I try to pull them up and everything, but sometimes they just fall on my shoulder because I have so much of them. Anyways, this is not important. Um, from this point on, it's pretty simple, you know, just layering embellishments and such. And I made some tags previously, and that's what you see in the photos, those little tags uh, on the side or put on the bench. But this bench is really nice, really good for um, store or display your altar tags, right? So that's why I did that. I put some tags on there in the photo. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple and it's super fun to make. I really hope you like it. Leave a thumbs up and comment if you enjoy it. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!